So after reconciling the, the apparent contradiction, on the one hand, we're saying that Avo, that Arich rather Yeshle Dikna, which means that Mshacha from Arich Tatsilis has to be only through Sidus because it's radical and beyond, bleakful, relatively speaking. On the other hand, we're saying that what's Vaitsiyena, Avai, Likain, and Nishom, Biyot Chazok of Israel and Etuya, the Shom is Arich. And where is it being Nimshech? It's being Nimshech and Avai Likainu which is Chachman Bina, which is Atzilus. And how's it being Dimshech? Not in way of Sidus, but Halboshe. That's the words of the Arizal, that Avo, actually it's the words. Yeah, the Arizal, that Chochman Bina and Malbish, that Arich is, is Nimshech in the way of Levush, which means tailored to and not B'derech Cyrus, but Giloi revealed by a person is revealed to the Levushim. Lamata, so it's B'derech Cyrus or B'derech Levushim. The answer is that the Pneumius of, of, of uh, Arich is Nimshech through Cyrus, the Chitzonius of Arich. And that's the Zeroyus of Arich, the arms, which is Chesed and Gevura, which is relative to the Moichen of Arich, it's Chitzonius, all relative. So the Chitzonius of Arich is Nimshech in a way of Pneumius, a Levush. Similar to, he says, the two Amshachas of Malchus, that Silos, in Bia. There's the Amshach of Machas Datzilus, which is Bederech, or the Amshach of Zor in Bia. There's the Amshach of Zor in Bia, Bederech Cyrus, not Malchus, Zor. But then the way Zor is Nimshach in Malchus, and that then is Nimshach, then that is Bederech Halbosh. So there's a way of Lamed Kalim the Zun becoming Naran of Bia, that's not Bederech Cyrus. When there's Amshacher Pnimius of Zor to Bia, then it's Bederach Cyrus, also through Malchus, mind you. It's all filtered through Malchus. But there's Malchus is a, is a filter or, or a, a channel of the Amshacher of Zor to Bia in two ways. In the two ways we're describing here now. Now, what do you say at the end of verse hey? It's explained in the say that when the Hamshacher Chitzonius, and that's the Chidrush, that the Hamshacher Chitzonius is Nimshach and the Primius. In other words, when the, as he goes and says in Avoida, when the original inspiration, which is by definition Makif, when that's drawn into a Primius, so not only is the inspiration drawn into the Pneumius itself, that, that experience, but that draws on the Pneumius of Elikus, and thereafter the person embarks on a Pneumius connection to Elikus, which in simple language means that the Hashem's desire of us and his relationship with us, that's the Pneumius, is manifest. Begins is a primis de kishaychus. That means possibly also that uh, um, that it, that's just again giving you a model of the inspirational moment or, or yontif or uh, whatever it was that a person experiences and he's inspired. So one way it is it comes and goes. Okay. It was an inspirational moment. Looks forward to the next one. Or he takes the inspiration and he. It changes him. It, insp it inspires him in his pearl mamish. So then what happens is that his Torah mitzvahs thereafter is a whole new level of pneumius. The Torah mitzvahs that he does. Now we're talking about the inspiration translating into, into action. It's true. What's the action? The action is Taka Torah mitzvahs. But that then unlocks in his Torah mitzvahs the Pneumius HaKavona, the Pneumius Deke connection. He's connecting to the Pneumius of Likos in his Avodah. Let's see it in the words of the Maimish. 
in the beholder we do so that God says every every generation of mice if I cut more as okay before you be you a trip in Tanya pack them Zion it's not every not simply every generation but the inner intent is every day it's also the market from premiers but from market it's every generation and I'll tell this most of the premiers the whole year in the year so hi what I'm doing is that's me kill who you are so you know the beds how you may meet Ryan that he's going out of its time today when you visit Shem she says me time boy said I'm sure some market the premiers just like what was it says me time is very to you know I will again to be shown so that's the void of that the inspired I'm the market from which originally in its market state only even power has indica and Dafka power has indica so can make into the hell is how this color of the me soil so too every year this is a daily avoid that's the baby if inshallah I'm sure has a market the previous Dafka when you present the matter is as follows He's not only talking about in the action looking ahead not simply an inspirational experience that comes from mamish outside of him it's not totally in him it's not it's not for then again it's not yom tov coming it's this is this is all much more than we said earlier i'm seeing now that this is all in his own avoid so it's known that the market's explanation on my Brazil, Parshishni, but if in the end, I see it's initial mockery. The Gemara says that since Parshishni is talking where he gathers his, it's after the Gonha, he has to gather in his grain, as opposed to others, from the Zorim, that others will pasture your flock and gather in your grain. That's because Parshishni is not a sin, it's an initial mockery. But the question, of course, is the Marasha asked the question. But Parshishni begins with the Vaimish Martishma. It's actually a reward for, for, for observance. So, in what sense is it not a sin in a traditional book? He explains, Shazel officially Nama, but Bechon Laitra. Because what's missing in Parshishni is Bechon Laitra. And that is a sin that it's so in the Shal Mok. Parshishni is in Bechon Laitra Belikvul. So the first parsha is bechol moitcha, bechol moitcha. We said is beyond limits. We have very different sadkechas and makifim. So here again, this is not an induced, externally induced makif dekavayde. This is hard work. Bechol moitcha, mesiris nefesh. That's what parsha is showing is. A parsha is the avoid dish mesadkechas pnei mibelvad. Parsha shniye is the avoid of seichel and bidas. So the chayde parsha is showing that is higher. So why do we even need Parsha Shneer? Parsha Shneer is Bechol Mo'it Chetz Eis in the Tzernish Shambokar. So what is the Maile Parsha Shneer? Yeah, some of the answers there are that Parsha Shneer is Mana, is in Zmana Gola, in Yidin Aretz Yisrael, Parsha Shneer is uh, in Zmana Gola. But here he speaks it as a Maile in old Zmani. The Parsha Shneer so there has to be Parshishniya because if it's only Bechol Ma'itcha, he himself. He himself is an Amatzev of Bechol Ma'itcha, but that's all it is. And it's not translated in his Seichel and in his Midas. He's in a state of constant surrender and Mesiris Nefesh, but it's not in the Pnimius. So as incredible as that is, Yacholavay Mizeh Inyan Biltirotzi. Because at the end of the day, there's a get, there's a hole in him. There's an empty hole. There's a there's a vacuum. The vacuum is that his seichel and his midas are not filled. And if the avoid of the makif of the of the Mr. Snefesh is not going to be oh, just the toy of the tikkun, in other words, it's missing the kelim the tikkun, then the oh, the toy can end up in the wrong place. Okay, this is in many, in many levels, there can be a yenike. First of all, they became be yenike by the way others view the person. Not understanding is avoid that avoid is avoid of givald. And they see that it's on a cheshben, so this gives them a license for on a cheshben in the wrong way. Just push that somebody else learns from it. 
the avoda of of uh, of breaking boundaries and the simcha bligvul and the nevesh bligvul for the wrong person, the wrong and the, and, uh, the right person, but the wrong time uh, is actually a, a negative model. It can be used as a negative model, but the emphasis even for himself, even for himself, it's, if it's only the gvald. So how there be a nika? So the nika could be. It's again can't be funny. One is he's not intellectually, he's not intellectually engaged, not emotionally engaged, which is avoid this avoid of the keches premium. He's engaged only with the gevald. Now the mind and the heart seeks fulfillment also. So he's not getting it in Yiddishkeit because he's it's almost in a snefesh doesn't have to understand and and it's hidden seichel. So the heart and the mind seeks fulfillment to find it somewhere else. He's open. He's open, not that he says seek it, but he's open that it should, he should find that somewhere else. And there are many other manifestations of this. But when it's a gewalt and it's hide and seichel can often be missing detail that he's not conscious of, he's not paying attention to because He's in this, you know, high, uh, this mode of, of uh, you know, so what we're looking for, uh, you know, over, over, uh, no? Enchantment. Huh? Enchantment. Yeah, okay, over enchantment. So therefore there's a lack of attention to detail when it's, when it's uh, driven with, uh, uh, you know, a, a passionate desire, I mean, it's nefesh that is, by its very nature, boundless. So it can be a nikah in many ways, and many a fun, it can be a nikah in his own, his own self, in lack of detail, and, and others observing his behavior. Like the Mitla Rebbe says, we said this earlier, that Avshem Betzchila, even though they should have taken that in Mitzrayim, they would have gone through that plishim. We're talking plishim the kedusha. Movi mufulish means an open-ended alleyway, which means the avoid of bligvul. But he didn't. Of mizav shalis and nikel b'chinas plishim dul mazav. That can end up in a negative bligvul. But as I said, he must be avoid the makif, and therefore it's not enough to avoid the parsha. Which is showing of of makif el tzarichlis avoid the pini mizdafka. It's got to be translated in thoughtful avoid the. In understanding, in cheshbonus, in cheshbonus befeilish, in 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 a, in a plan, in the progress, is driven. What drives it all again? It's is uh, the toyo, but the map, the road map, is a road map that is meseid the mesuda. Yom yom yidroshon yidroshon yidroshon. Every day they seek you. Every day they every day. Maybe about Shuva, we see this in Avoid of Shuva. Shabbat is at Shuva, Havi de Bechele Yata Shuva, as the Zayar says, is with great Koyah. So that Ari Achele Yata Nimshe Bechola Koyah's Pinimi, but that cannot stop the, 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 the Gavaldi, he's got to change and he's driven. It's got to be nimsha, driven in the, in the way of craziness, just a dusha, but it's got to come down of koiches pnimim, shebechol asa Yosef, in his actions, in nirgesh achel yater, is this tremendous energy, this tremendous devotion. But it's got to come down into a seidim esudar of avayda. Mashenkin, and not just the gewalt, mashenkin can sherak b'makiv, and it only remains at a makiv, afshel yisim, as a yinika from there, there can be, as we said, as we're saying, a yinika nourishment to the opposite of dusha. This is what Chazal is saying in Mordechai Brachas, in why Parsha Rishon precedes Parsha Shnir. That you cobble all of because the third Parsha is from Bamidba. It's not following the Seder. So obviously the order is not the way it appears in the Torah, even though Parsha Rishon appears earlier. But it's not arranged that way. So you, why? Yes, because you cobble all of the Machel Shemaim Tchila first has to be oil, Machel Shemaim. That's stuck of the Makif, the yoke. And then oil the has to begin with a surrender with a kabbalah, with a gival. 
אבל שוב, אבל זה צריך להיות מייסים טובים. אבל אחרי זה צריך להיות גם בעל מצווה בפרט יש דווקא, must translate in the detail of מצווה which engaging mind and heart and understanding and a program and a roadmap and so on. Selgin Mitzies Mitzan Bavidus Odom, so this is the Mitzies Mitzan that we're saying now, Vitzien, Avalikin Mishot, that Liya is Amshoch, as a Makiv Pnimis Dafke, the Taka begins with the Makiv, but still it's got to be Nimshik and the Pnimis of Azayev and Gamashai, as Mitzies Mitzan Batan Taira. This is, we'll understand also deeper the connection between Mitzies Mitzan Batan Taira. Mishakos, but it's Yachas on Mitzan. The Davis that told Moshe Rabbein that when he takes the people out of Mitzrayim, the Tav, the Nesilikim, the Tachlis is to serve the Davis on this mountain. Why? Because again, Matan Teir and Nimshach HaMakiv B'Pnimis. Matan Teir is all about the Makiv coming B'Pnimis. What's that? She's only in Gimlun Bidus. She's telling the Dresh, as my. Again, 13. But now we're talking about the 13 Bidus, which the Teir has expounded. That's in Seichel, which draws on what? In Gimlun Bidus. That the root of it is really the Yugimel Tikuni Dikna, which is the which is Arik, which is the beard, which is hiding in Ishtalshalos, the 13 tufts of the beard, literally. Shalomai in Ishtalshalos. But the Matan Torah is that it's Nimshachim, Kamok, and Nimshachim, the Pnimis Dafke. It's drawn in the Pnimis, and that's the Yugimel Midrash, Shatan, and Dresh's Ben. Footnote 39 tells us that the end of the Maimah is missing. No, we don't blame the boys. It's two o'clock in the morning. Um, after the second say that we're grateful that they remembered so much so far. Okay, I'll read to you now the overview that we have to decide what next, look at the next moment. Achan Shah Pesach, let's see how long it is. It's a long moment. How much time do you have to learn? Not a lot. Huh? What? Let's let's why don't we start? Why don't we learn the the second mimer of Yeralfus? Yeralfus is the is the is the pinnacle of the whole of the whole um, of of Pesach. Why are we where are we jumping to? I mean, you have after after Pesach, you have a lot of uh, time until the next mimer. It's true, but we want to learn the Achim Shal Pesach mimer before Achim Shal Pesach. Lama. Right, it's important. So, if if everybody is okay, we could do it. It's doable. It's doable if we uh, learn every day about uh, 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 chalamid. We have chalamid four days chalamid. Okay, we could do it. We could do it. All right. So the summary of the maimed. It's not a summary. Just an overview. Oh, it's very short. The overview. I'll give, I'll give a more detailed uh, summary. Let's just quickly uh, uh, run through it. So the Shilas were, what's, what's in the gear that, you know, I want you to answer the question of the, of the first ice. The first ice was, why isn't it just enough to say that we were slaves and Hashem took us out? Avodma, you know, what's in the gear to Padoi? What's the answer to that? And Mitzrayim, Dafka, did he answer why Pare Mitzrayim? Yeah. He answered Pare, he answered why Mitzrayim. Anybody wants to volunteer the answer? It's all Mishom. That's the details of the Mishom. The Mishom is Pare, the spirit of Minei called the Hayrin, that Pare is rooted in Arich. But Mitzrayim goes on Kedusha. The Kedusha was all in the way of what? Of Mitzrayim. And Padre was what? Bizgalos, Betoikev. And it's Misham from there, from this Makif, the Padre had the Yenika, the tremendous Yenika. That's where the Ebisha took us out. And what's the Deek of Avayli Kainu? Right, but the Diga Vaili came, no? This is the whole mind over and over again. Uh, that's Nimshik and Chachman Bina in the Pneumius, it's the whole point of it. And what's Biot Chazok of Israel in the two, yeah? What? 
What is that? Anybody? Yes, I'm not doing my job. Yes, what? In order for it to come in, into into what? Yot Chazak is not. Where is the makif to come down? Has to come through Chesed and, and Gevura of 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 um, no, of Arich. Not much that has to come down. It's, it's saying this is what happens. This is the whole Maila. This is the whole Aveda, and this is the whole Chiddush of Itzias Mitzrayim. That Mishom, that, that level now more protein. What's the Shom? The Yod Chazok Israel Nituya. That's the Zroya. So the arms of the two arms. The strong arm, the strong hand, and the outstretched arm. So that's right. That's what that's chesed and gvura of arich. That's nimshech and the primius. And that's in the Kud of Yitzhiyas Mitzrayim. That before was nimshech and the primius, was in Makif alone. It was in nimshech and avayla keinu. So then Pado had the upper hand and Kedusha was betimtzum, as that is all says. That then all of Kedusha was behel and behester and meitzah v'doichet. So that's the avoid. That's the avoid of Yitzhiyas Mitzrayim is Amshach of the Makif and the Primius, and that cuts off the Yenike to, no, to, to the Umazir. So Cain, the Shaila, to understand this whole thing, and introduce the question that the, the answer. That's the heart of the mind. The question is, how can we Nimshach and the Primius? We're talking about what? We're talking about Arich. And Arich, Yeshle Dikno, and Zo, Yeshle Dikno, and Avo doesn't have a Dikno. And the Mekabal, this is all to explain the question. The Mekabal, the Merol, uh, struggle to understand how is it possible that, that the highest level and the lowest level has a Dikna and the middle level doesn't. So the Atreb explained to the Marash is Marich, that the reason, what's the need of Dikna of Cyrus is when you have, we're going from Amshacha from Bleakville to Gvul, can only be Ahara only yet Simtsum. Hence, the Marich to Atzilus is a, is a, a, radical, a radical step, it needs Cyrus. From Atzilus to Bia, that Zo is a radical step in Itzairus. But from Chochman Bina in Atzilus Gufa, you don't need Sidus because it's all Eilam Achtus. So this is all, all to, to create the question. So that's all establishing. And, and within and within Arich, to go from Chochma of Arich to the Zreyes and to Malchus, you also do, you, you you also don't need Dikna. No, no, no. It's only when right, you're so, going from Arich to Atzilus, from Haile to Ishtar to Atzilus. So how anytime is there's a quantum leap, anytime yeah, there's a quantum anytime leap. Yeah, anytime there's a leap. radical leap, a quantum leap, it needs a radical so, symptom. So there's, the, so there's four. So there's four. There's there, there's four. There, 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 there's four. Because within, uh, from two... No, within okay. Arach is not. It's from Arach to Atzilus. Right, right. From Arach to Atzilus and from Atzilus to Bia. So how can we say over here, the Lashon Adarizal is, and that's the whole Chidush of what? Of its Yes Mitzrayim, that Arach is Nimshech in Pnimius. And what's the term that describes Amshach Pnimius? Levush. That's the language of Darizal. That Avo Shil Bishu, that Chochman Bina of Atzilus, Shil Bishu Azroi is the Arach. That enclosed, which means that the Zroyas of Arich and his Galer. There's a whole Arich is here that Lavush is, no Lavush is something other externally, but it reveals the person. Cyrus is the Maile is the Achdos, but it doesn't reveal the person. That's a whole different sugya, but Lapel for us, Lavushim reveal. So, how is it possible that, that Arich is revealed in Atzilus? No, it's Baderach Cyrus. The answer to that is that the Chitzonis. The Pneumius of Adach not, is not. And just like in Atzilus too, the Amshoch of, of Atzilus to be out, it's too funny. There's one often that only the, the, that the Chitzonius of Zo is Nimshach in Bia, and that's Halbosha, that's not Cyrus. And then there's an often with the Pneumius of Zo's Nimshach in Bia, and that's through, through, through a more radical symptoms. So Malchus has two ways of funneling. A more fluid one or a more concealed one. I'll call upon you. So now he concludes and says, so what's happening over here by T.S. Mitzrayim? And he translates that and I'll wait at the end. 
What's happening is that the that the chitzoni is dikemakiv is drawn in the pinimius. I'm going to add more issues now. Which I didn't say before. The chitzoni is dikemakiv is drawn in the pinimius, as he said at the end of the maimed. That this is the avoid of what of the chalma eitcha mesiras nefesh and so on. Parsha rishayna. So it doesn't. He doesn't stop there. What you see with time is that he translates that in Avedah Pnimius, because if it only remains a givald, it is the toyo, mesides nefesh, and hide in seichel, and plishtim, the kedusha, then there can be a yindike in all the different ways we described. So the whole point is that to translate, in other words, a chosid is at once, there's a sensing in the person, there's this urgency in the, and the shtuz de kedusha that drives him. There's a fire, on the other hand, his whole demeanor is Mesed the Mesuda. His whole demeanor is quiet in that sense, and is extremely thoughtful, and 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 uh, and measured, and his avoda is structured. His life is extremely structured. He's a Mesed the Mesuda. Then all of the Mesed the Mesuda, this drive, this tremendous drive of B'chol Ma'itcha the Gevald of. In other words, of the, this mem is all based on Taka, the first Maimer. The first Maimer, Achim Moisev, Yudalf Nissen, it's really all based on that. So we all learn it. Is the Rotso, it's all based on the Rotso, but not the Rotso that he wants to be close to the Abishta. The Rotso based on the truth of the Abishta. God wants us to know him in all of his unmitigated glory the, and reveal him, Lamata. So, quite simply, he's the, with the the, every mitzvah that the Yid is doing is mam shechatzmos. How can there not be a gewalt in, in that awareness? And that awareness is something that lies at the core of everything he does as it permeates his learning, his learning gemara, and his sugi, and engaging his mind, and his the masuda. And it's very structured and very deep and very nuanced. And keiches pnimim, it's all driven with what? With the gewalt of, of what, what, what is happening here? It's you, it's all you. So, what does it mean? So, when the when the Mercedes Nefesh, the Geval, the Rotso is drawn into a Pneumius, then this is, this is the point we need to really grasp. The Pneumius, the Pneumius of, 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 of Arich is Nimshech. That, that causes the Pneumius of Olikus to be Nimshech. And when that is Nimshech, then there's no room for that. That's just Mavato de la Lumaze. Which translate in simple language. So now he's re he's revealing the Abishta's nachas and desire, which is what's his desire? His desire is a year, is a is tired of mitzvahs. That's what he wants in a relationship with us, in the details of our life. That is what he's drawing into his avodah. When Abishta says that no Mordechai, not Haman, and can be no yenike. The pnimi is a kavana. It's like it's really atz, the atzmi. He's talking here the atzmi. In other words, there's three levels he's talking about over here. Makiv, pnimius, and atzim. That's what he's saying here. So it starts off, it's avoid the makiv. The avoid is the geval, the rotzoi. Then he translates the geval into the into what? Into pnimius, into seichel and bidis, into yom, yom, yidrushon, every day a planned avoid, say the mesudr. And in so doing, is mamshir the atzim. Who is the Tachtan? Him in his world, in Kedusha, and nowhere else. In the Moshal of the, of the spider and the king, it's like drawing, it's like revealing the king's presence in every, the Pneumius of the king, in every detail of the palace. And when the king's Pneumius Akavanda is revealed, there's no room for the spider, of course not. It's only in the Makiv level is the room. Or in the Moshal he gave of the great Suda. The king makes a grand suda. He, he, he wants it. He wants the, the enemies to also to, to be fed from it. No. With the dogs. But the leftover, like the leftover, yeah, the leftover does. But when the king's Pnimi Sekavon is brought to bear, and I'm just gonna ask him, who is this for? This is for you, this is only for you. Sort of avodav. When you bring to bear the Pnimi Sekavon of the Melech himself to the 
the makif to the whole ishtalshalus, because that's what you're doing, you're cognizant of that, then there's no room for you, Nikki. What are you saying? I just added not only the enemy, but like he says in, in some other mashalim, that even the dogs eat the bones. Yeah, the bigger chiddush is the enemy, the dog, Mela, but even his yeah, son. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay.